Now is your chance to take on The Undertaker. He's one of the World Wrestling Federation's most popular wrestlers. NBC 17 gives you the chance to learn the secrets behind his moves or slam him, all behind the security of your keyboard. NBC 17's Larry Pickett joins us live from Studio B. Larry? That's right. I have The Undertaker with me now. So first of all, everybody log on to NBC17.com. He's creeping in. He's doing his thing. We got a mic right there for you, buddy. Log on to NBC17.com. You'll be able to see everything that's going on in here, and you can chat with him and ask him any kind of questions. But first, we're going to show you a little bit of The Undertaker at work. It, it's been exciting again to, to see the challenge of all these uh, y young guys looking at me like, you know, they've got my number and uh, having to prove to them that uh, it's still my porch and, you know, I'm the big dog, so... All right, that was a little bit of The Undertaker in action, doing your thing. So what's up, man? Where you been? You been gone for, from the WWF for a little bit. Yeah, I, you know, I had to get away a little while. Um, I had a few injuries that I needed to, uh, to get mended up there uh, originally. Uh, I had a real severe groin pull, abdomen strain, and um, I had that about knocked out. And then uh, about 10 days before I was going to come back to work, which would have been probably February, early February. The, I was going to try and make it back for that pay-per-view, and uh, I was in the gym training, and I tore my pec. Wow. So uh, I had to have that surgically put back together, and uh, so that was another four months. So it ends up being, you know, eight, nine months uh, vacation, and, uh, you, know, I, uh, my, you know, I contemplated, uh, you know, taking off and waving my, you know, having... So you were thinking about retirement? Yeah, I thought about it. Uh, you know, I've accomplished just about everything that I wanted to accomplish in the business. But then, you know, I think once the, uh, the uh, you know, the depression of the injury, got, you know, was gone, I said, well, you know, this isn't the way I want to go out. Right. I said, uh, you know, I, I need to, I need to go back and make sure that, you know... That you do it that right. I can, well, yeah, that I can do it right. I can, you know, I can do it in the ring, you know. Okay. And uh, like I said, I, I like to... Uh, it's still my front porch, and I'm the big dog on the porch. So. All right. Well, everybody out there, like I said before, NBC17.com. Go right there, and on the front page, you can chat with The Undertaker throughout the whole 4 o'clock newscast. So start logging on, and we'll be back with The Undertaker. So jump on the Internet. Okay, Larry, thanks a lot. Let's head back to Studio B and NBC17's Larry Pickett with professional wrestler The Undertaker. Here today, live chatting with our viewers, and I heard a lot of viewers are writing emails. Oh uh, man, it's crazy in here, Heidi. Everybody, jump in here, NBC17.com. Link to the Undertaker. He's over there answering questions like crazy. The newscast is almost over, but he'll be in here for a couple of more minutes. Let's go in here. Uh, Bridget says uh, that was messed up. What you did to the Rock? Did you mean to hit him? What do you mean did I messed up? Uh, rock. Uh, it was an accident. It was uh, an accident. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Anybody who was really watching that could tell it was an accident. What, what we got going on is, uh, you know, is Vince McMahon trying to stir some things up. He's trying to divide before we conquer. Okay. Now, you've been around for the better part of 10 years. What makes you stick around? Uh, I still have a hunger. Um, there's a lot of young guys around now. Uh, I'm more or less the, uh, the elder statesman in the World Wrestling Federation. And it's like I was telling you earlier, it's still my porch, and I'm the big dog on the porch. All right. Uh, the Great One says, do you think that you can beat up Triple H? Uh, I can beat him. Uh, I don't have any doubt in my mind that I can't beat Triple H. Okay. Stronghold says, what, do you, what are your plans after you retire? Um, probably the same thing they are right now. When my night's over, I ride off into the sunset, um, take my bike down Route 66, and end up where I end up. Okay. Uh, Madness says, did you ever play high, um, basketball when you were in high school? Um, I think I might have picked up a uh, basketball or two back in the day. Okay. Uh, how much do you squat? How much do I squat? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, I, I don't squat much anymore. I've got. Uh, I got some bad pins. So. Uh, okay. K Dog. I'm so sorry to cut you off. K Dog says, "Do you ever get nervous when you step in the ring?" No, not so much nervous. Uh, I, I get uh, a bit excited when I have somebody in the, uh, 
you know, a top caliber wrestler that I'm going to go against, you know, such as an Austin or a Rock. You get a little bit geeked up over that. But uh, as far as nerves, I, I lost those a long time ago. Okay, you just made a big change uh, from the, the dark look to now the biker look. What made mm -hmm. you do that? It's kind of a, an evolution. Um, you know, it's, it's, The Undertaker has evolved. What you see now, that's what you'll see if you see me on the street somewhere. Um, you know, I still believe in the same things that I've always believed in, but uh, this is just uh, this is just me expressing what I really am, and uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, people will accept that. All right, about 25 seconds left. Let them know about what's coming up August 27th. August 27th, the biggest event of the summer, SummerSlam. It's going to be right here, and uh, you know, still available? there are still a few tickets left. Uh, I've heard, you know, everyone thinks that the tickets are all sold out, but there's some good seats left. And uh, I promise you, if you can get a ticket to this event, this is the one you want to see. It's going to be my first time here in the new arena, and uh, I'm, bringing the, uh, I'm bringing my new bike, right. uh, which you want to see that just on itself. It's going to be good. All right. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. Keep Thanks, logging man. on to that chat room because we'll be in here for a couple of minutes. But only right here on NBC17 will you see something as hot as this, The Undertaker. Keep tuning in, NBC17. Tune it back to you in the studio. Hey, right. thanks so much, Larry. I'll tell you what, I like that new look. Yeah, I do. Not it's not quite it's, scary. Yeah, it's not quite as scary as the Undertaker. Now it kind of looks like the Overtaker. So thanks to all of you who emailed, though. I tell you what, we almost overloaded our system, but he's still there. Yeah, sure is. Bill and Sharon are next at 5. Byron and I are back at 6 C then. Wrestling fans in our area were able to chat online with The Undertaker today. The WWF wrestler met with NBC 17's Larry Pickett in our studios this afternoon and answered questions from viewers in an online chat. How about them tattoos? Plenty of people logged on for a chance to chat with The Undertaker. He's in town to promote the WWF's August 27th Summer Slam event at the Entertainment and Sports Arena. The Undertaker's coming off a round of injuries, but he's determined not to let any of those wounds keep him out of the ring. You know, I didn't want to go out laying on a bench press with my with my pec torn. I wanted to go out, you know, in the ring, and so it actually, in the long run, it motivated me to uh, freshen things up and uh, you know give it one last good run. The Undertaker undertook an autograph signing session today as well, signing for the first 700 fans to buy tickets for the August event. I was really surprised when Larry Pickett, you know, said he could take them. <laughs> That's brave. <laughs> Bobby said it last night. <laughs> I think I can take the guy. Come on, pal. Where is he now? Huh? Yeah, Bob, I'm storming God. in here. Yeah. He'll be running out of here. Is that the show just covered my backside, Bill? Okay.